Hi, welcome to Good Reader's Review. I am Anya and this is my review of The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. If you already read this book, write down your honest review in the comments section below. Before reviewing the book, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Opinions expressed in this review are completely my own. So, let's get on to the book review so you can fill up your to read list. This book is 283 pages in length and written in English. The book publication date was January 3, 2023. This book genres belongs to thriller, mystery, mystery thriller, fiction, adult, suspense, contemporary, gothic and historical fiction categories. The Villa is a slow burn thriller drama about a crime from the past that intertwines with the present. Former BFFs Emily and Chess, both writers, spend the summer in an Italian villa to spark their creativity. The villa happens to be the same one in which a famous murder in the 1970s occurred, involving a rock star that captivated the world. While the two former friends work on their new books, a deep-seated rivalry emerges. At the same time, their investigation into the infamous murder leads to some startling consequences. Told through the eyes of Mari and Emily, the narrative alternates between the past in the 1970s and the present. Emily's storyline both bored and annoyed me. In the beginning, I found Mary's storyline more compelling, but my interest in Emily shifted towards the end. The characters aren't particularly likable, but I was sympathetic towards Mari. According to the publisher, parts of the villa are inspired by the events when Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein. This is apparent in the structure of the villa, which embodies a story within a story. I liked the setting in Orvieto, but I expected the villa to play a larger role in the story. The villa didn't convey the darkness and creepiness I was anticipating. Really, it is more of a place where things happen versus a space that contributes to the events. This story alternates between timelines, Mari in the past and Emily in the present day. At first, I didn't like being in the 1974 timeline because I've never been fond of wild rock and rock lifestyles and loose ways but those loose ways are not presented graphically which I appreciated. I wouldn't have been interested in this timeline except that Emily was interested in it. Then there is the present day timeline, which is more interesting to me, with Chess acting strangely and me hoping the ruthless almost ex-husband of Emily would get some kind of comeuppance for being such a lawyer happy brute. I struggled to connect at the beginning of the book, as I found the first 40% dull. It's low on tension and suspense and reads more like a women's fiction, domestic drama than a thriller. I had to push myself to continue reading, but eventually, the book became unput downable, and I was glad I kept at it. There are also some intriguing but not very surprising twists. I wish the final chapter had been removed, it would have resulted in a darker and edgier ending. There's much more to this story playing out in both timelines concerning misogyny, tangled web relationships, jealousy, and competition, all intermixed with media throughout the book. And what a shocker of an ending! This is one heck of an entertaining story within a story. Fascinating for sure! 5 stars and if you really want to read this book, you can take it from the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with any other fellow.